Welcome to City 17. You have chosen, or been chosen, to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that it's I all elected I to establish my administration all right, here I'm moving. in the Citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, you the whether only you are on here train? to stay or passing through on your way to Washington home, welcome. That's enough of that. City 17. It's safer here. Cut it out. You see them go when I was full. Welcome. Welcome to City 17. You have chosen or been chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration in the city of provided by my right to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or that must be a mistake. On your I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else. It's me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. Great Scott! Gordon Freeman! I expected more warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here, somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Well, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon? Good to see you. Okay, Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. That's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. Pile up some stuff to get through that window and keep going till you're in the plaza. I'll meet up with you later. associated hopes and fears for the future of the species. I also detect some unspoken questions. Do our benefactors really know what's best for us? What gives them the right to make this kind of decision for us? No more! Hey, cut it out! Read again. Allow me to address the anxieties underlying your concerns, rather than every possible question you might have left unvoiced. First, let 
us consider the fact that for the first time ever, as a species, immortality is a This simple fact has far reaching implications in the minds of meditation, thinking, revision of our genetics. It also requires memory, and in direct opposition to our neural presets. I find it helpful at times like these to remind myself that our true enemy is instinct. Instinct was our mother when we were an infant species. Instinct guarded us, kept us safe in those hard scrabble years when we opened our sticks, cooked our first meals above a meager fire, and started at the shadows that leapt upon the cavern's walls. But inseparable from instinct is its dark twin, superstition. Instinct is inextricably bound to our reason. starts. First the building, then the whole block. They have no reason to come to our place. Don't worry, they'll find one. Thank <laughs> you. 